Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Code with Ro. Today we're diving into an exciting topic, integrating blueprints with C++ in Unreal Engine 5. This is a crucial skill for any game developer, as it combines the best of both worlds, the flexibility of blueprints and the power of C++. Let's get started. First, let's briefly talk about what blueprints and C++ are in Unreal Engine. Blueprints are a visual scripting system that allows you to create gameplay elements without writing any code. They are perfect for designers and artists who want to prototype quickly, or for those who aren't comfortable with traditional coding. On the other hand, C++ is a powerful programming language that gives you deeper control over your game's mechanics and performance. Combining these two allows you to create efficient, complex, and highly customizable gameplay. All right, so let's start up our project. So I'll be using my Intro to C++ project. So I'm gonna go over to my C++ classes, my project folder, and then I'm gonna right click and click new C++ class. And I'm gonna select the new actor in this case, and I'm just gonna click next and call this my CPP actor. And then I'll hit create class and this will open up your Visual Studio code. Or this will open up your Visual Studio. This is gonna generate our .h header file and our source file, which is our C++ file, just like this. So let's open, let's start with the .h file, which is our header file. And let's add a simple variable and a function. So under this public, under the virtual void tick, I'm gonna add a U property, edit anywhere, blueprint, read, write, and the category will be my variable or my variables with an S at the end. And I'll assign it as int32 my int, and in C++ that is an integer value. And then I wanna give it a U function, and I'm gonna make it a blueprint callable, and the category will be my functions. And I'll just say my, void my function. And I'll hit control save. And now let's implement this function in the C++ file. So at the top here, under this can ever tick be true, I'm gonna just assign the my int is equal to zero to initialize this integer variable. And then under the super tick function or the void tick function, I'm gonna call the void a my CPP actor colon colon my function variable that we created. And in this function, I'm gonna do a UE log and a log temp is gonna give a warning of a text that says my function called my int is and then I want to do a percent d and then after my parentheses I'm going to call them my int so percent d will just equal to whatever is set for my int which we'll do in unreal engine so I'll hit control save and now we just need to compile our code so now I'm going to go back to my unreal engine project and in my content folder, I'm gonna right click blueprint class and under my all classes and under all classes, I'm gonna search for that my CPP actor that we created. I'll click on this and hit select and I'll just call this something like my CPP blueprint. And now when I double click into it, it'll open a blueprint editor. And in the event graph, here you can call my function and manipulate my int just like any other blueprint variable or function. So let's drag a node from event play and search for my function. So now I'm going to drag out from event begin play and search for the my function that we created to call the my function as soon as we hit begin play and I'll hit compile. But don't forget to go to your my CPP blueprint actor in the components tab and then you can set my int to whatever. By default it's at zero, but I'll set it to 100 and then I'll hit compile and save and I'll just drag this and I'll just drag this blueprint out into the open. And when I hit play, you'll see in the output log, since we created it as a UE tempt log warning, it'll say log temp warning, my function called my int is 100. And that's a simple introduction to integrating blueprints with C++ in Unreal Engine 5. This is a powerful way to combine the flexibility of visual scripting with the performance and control of traditional coding. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Code with Row, and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Also, join our Discord and Patreon community for more assistance. Thanks for watching and happy coding.